hello um this is a video um man i really i've been doing this for three years and i still don't know how to start things um yes this is a video and this video i'm going to be showing you my cd collection which i wanted to do about like a year and a half ago when it would have been a lot easier um <laughs> but i'm doing it now instead um i haven't counted my cds but there's a lot of them so I'm going to start with the first two and end with the most recent ones I got. Um, but in between that, it's like completely random the way they are stacked in my cupboard down here. It's not actually a cupboard, it's a bookshelf. Um, so the first ones I got, I got them on the same day, are The Black Parade by My Chemical Romance and Dookie by Green Day. Um, and these are, <laughs> it seems like really common ones to be people's first CDs. Um, Partially because when I got them, they were five dollars at Walmart. Uh, I was so excited, um, and also just because they're really iconic albums. Um, so yes, and that that started my CD collecting. <laughs> and then "Stomach Aches" by Frank Arrow and the Celebration. Um, I've done. I did a video with this CD a while ago. I should probably delete that. It was probably really horrible, <laughs> but. You might notice um, it came from a public library. I bought it used on Amazon, um, and I'm pretty sure someone stole it from a library. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorite albums in the world, and I love having it on CD, even if it's in rough shape and was stolen from a library. <laughs> and then the next one is The Battle of Los Angeles by Rage Against the Machine. I'm so, I was so blessed. I found this for 10 cents. Um, at St. Vincent's. I love, this is one of my favorite albums too, so finding that was so exciting. And this one, I got this for Christmas um, a couple years ago. It's Stories from Somewhere by PJ Liguori, excuse me, which it's, it's a fun album of little story songs. It's really simple and I love them. It's, it's very peaceful. Next one is I don't know how to speak French, <laughs> um, Fall Out Boy, and I found this at a thrift store, and I was like, should I get that? I've only listened to the album once, and I can't remember it very well, but I got it because I knew I'd regret it if I didn't, and now I don't think this CD has left our car since, because everyone in my family is like, we're going to listen to this c CD, like, constantly, and we do, and we love it, <laughs> so thanks, Fall Out Boy. <laughs> I don't listen to Fall Out Boy very much. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> um, the next one is I don't know how, but they found me's EP. What the heck is it called? It doesn't say. Um, I can't remember what it. Oh, 1981 extended play. <laughs> it wasn't written on the the side or the front very big. Um, yes, I love this. It's oh, it's one of those the cardboard um, CD things, and I'm always worried that I'm going to break those. But I have a few of them. And also the CDs aren't in most of these because I have them in a, one of those case thingies. Next one is Green Day, American Idiot, which was also five dollars at Walmart. <laughs> and another really iconic album that lots of people have. Um, next one, I, I forgot, I put these in alphabetical order. Um, they're all jumbled up now, but so the, some of them are together. Next one's Green Day, International Super Hits, also from Walmart. <laughs> um, and I love it, especially because this is before American Idiot, so, like, it, it's all their songs that were famous before American Idiot, and the music that came after that created more popular songs. So there's some songs on here that definitely wouldn't be on a Greatest Hits album that they made now. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I sound gross. I'm not sick, I'm just sick. There's... No, I'm not sick. I'm chronically ill. <laughs> it's great. And the next one's Barriers by Frank Iero and the Future Violence. I got this. Um, I got this at their show because I saw them in June of last year. Um, I love it. This is such a great album. It's such a great album. I love it a lot. Uh, so I'm really glad I have it, and I'm really glad I went to that show. The next one, this is another one I, I found at that thrift store and wasn't sure if I should get, but I knew I'd regret it if I didn't. Um, and it's How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful by Florence and the Machine. Um, I still haven't listened to the full album, but there are some songs on here that I really love now, so I'm glad that I have it. The next one is 
pretty much another situation like that. Um, it's Echo and the Bunnymen. Um, someone wrote Brenda on the front, so I'm guessing Brenda owned it before, but she doesn't now. Um, so we have this. It's fun. This is a, it's a really fun one to listen to in the background. Um, the Shirelles Super Hits. This was $3.00. Um, at a yard sale, which I don't, know, I don't know, that's a lot for a yard sale, but I'm glad I got it. There's a, um, the Shirelles, honestly, they cranked out nothing but hits all throughout their career. <laughs> um, so I love this. Um, it's a fun one to listen to, too, if you're me. Um, and I am, I'm me. Um, next one is Revolver by the Beatles. It's another one of those cardboard ones, but it's more sturdy. Um, which obviously that's a great album, and I love the album cover too. It's it's really cool art, and it's one of my favorite Beatles albums. I think it's one of the ones that really got going, got changing their sound. So I think that's great. Next one is City of Evil by Avenged Sevenfold, which is a good it's a good album. I like it. Um, it's really different from the one that they put out before that, and I think that's a good thing. And I think it helped another one that. Like I was saying about the Beatles albums, one that helped change their sound into what it ended up being, which is great. There's some songs on here that are great. I mean, I like all of it, but you know. Um, next one is Brand New Eyes by Paramore. Which again, that's such a cool cover. I love that. I love this album. I think it's, it's a really great album. I love to listen to it. Next one is Simulation Theory, which I got at Walmart. <laughs> But I love, I love this album. I don't think it's Muse's best album by far, but it was a great one to see live too, because um, I saw them <clears throat> last year, and I think it was a great one for a live show, and it's just also just a good one to listen to, um, even if it's not like the same as their other music. Next one is the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah, love that. I love Lord of the Rings so much, and listening to the music makes me happy. And Pixies, Trompe Le Monde. I think I pronounced that right. I don't know how I could have pronounced it wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good album. I like it. My mom made me listen to it um, from YouTube in the car a long time ago because she loves this album. And then, and then we found it <laughs> the same place as the Fall Out Boy CD and the Florence and the Machine CD. Um, CDs, they're 50 cents, so it's good, good. I love it. Next one is Hesitant Alien by Gerard Way. It's another one of these, these paper ones. Uh, it stresses me out so much, but it's cool. I love this. Um, this is one of my favorite albums. Excuse me. Um, another Beatles album, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. You know, a classic, a classic. Cardboard. It stresses me out. My gosh, another cardboard one. Um, this one has plastic in it too, though. Um, Rabbit Hearted by Chloe Moriando, which is a lovely little acoustic album. Um, and I got this at her show last December. Wow, that was kind of a long time ago. <laughs> that was her first show that she ever played, and I went to it because it was in Michigan. She lives in Michigan. I live in Michigan. Hey! Um, so I went to it, and I got the CD. Um, next one is a David Bowie compilation album. <clears throat> it's a good mix of songs. Some compilation albums aren't good mixes of songs. <laughs> this one is, though. Um, David Bowie also, he just made nothing but hits. Like, honestly, every song about. So I love to listen to this one also because it's 20 songs, so I can listen to it for a long time. <laughs> and then another Beatles album. I'm so sorry I'm like this. Um, Magical Mystery Tour by the Beatles, which is my favorite Beatles album because it is just... It's whimsical, by which I mean... What were they doing? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um... Then, I love this album. Um, Tonight, The Stars Revolt by Power Man 5000. I stole this one from my mom because she got it. She's like, oh, I love I love this album at a thrift store. We listened to it, and I'm like, oh, I love this album, too. It's mine now. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I have more space to put them. I love that album a lot. It's really good. Oh, and then I've 
these three Toronto Pilots ones in a row. <clears throat> so, um, Trench by Toronto Pilots, which is their newest album. It's good. It's good. I like it. Um, ah, I dropped it. It's good, but I dropped it. Um, the Blurry Face, which is also good. That's a, that's a good one to listen to in the car. My mom really likes that one. And Vessel. Vessel's my favorite. I love Vessel. That's my, that one's my favorite. <laughs> then, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer soundtrack by Burl Ives. Um, I love Rudolph. Um, <clears throat> I, I love Rudolph a lot, and I love the songs. So now we are to my last two, currently. Um, that's Paramore's self-titled album. Um, sorry, I put a sticker over Jeremy's face, because I don't like him, which is really petty, but, you know. Um, this is a good album. It's another. It's a long album, so that's I love listening to that one. And my newest one is My Chemical Romance: Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge. I wanted this one for a long time, um, and now I have it. And my mom likes it. I was worried she wouldn't, but she does. So um, that's all. That's all I have. There. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how to end this. I. I don't really know what would be of interest. Um, I'm sorry. I hope you liked this. I hope you liked my CDs. Um, I guess tell me if you have some of the same ones. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and I'll see you whenever I make a video again. <laughs> we don't really know when that's gonna be, do we? <laughs>